culture and technology has changed things so fast and so quickly, we've not really adapted with it as far as the way that we teach and the way that we um, you know, develop these students into who we want them to be. I thought the first Dream Team meeting went super well. I think it was an eye-opening experience for a lot of us. I was under that impression that we're all going to get together and try to make the district a little much better, where voices could be heard. One of the things I think that we're really focusing on is what are the skill sets that we want our kids to have when they graduate with that diploma from Umbel ISD. We want them clearly to be, you know, good that you know, good at math, good at English. Those are the things that we teach in school, the concrete subjects that we teach. But I think what they're asking us to do is look beyond that. What what are companies looking to hire? Are they looking to hire kids who can write a really good essay or are they looking to hire kids who can look you in the eye and shake your hand and have a good conversation? Not everybody's thinking the same, and that's definitely very important that we get a collection of ideas that may conflict, but also gives us opportunity to discuss uh, and come up with what we feel is the best, uh, what is in the best interest of our students. Uh, coming up with these competencies and what we're trying to shape and what we want the, the future student of Omba ISD to look like uh, is gonna go well beyond uh, their years, our years, and hopefully be able to shape this school district uh, and make this school district a model for other school districts around the state and around the country. It's definitely gonna help, help out, you know, because I am a student as well, so um, seeing how all the students are gonna benefit from this, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna bring a, a better tomorrow. Well, uh, the group definitely accomplished what it set out to accomplish, which is it is proposing six student competencies for 21st century students. It's been an extraordinary group to work with. There's something about the community. Uh, I've never been to Humble before the beginning of this process. There's something about the community in which it's palpable how dedicated all the participants were to the school system and to the students. I really love it because the fact that the superintendent is going out of her way to see what parents and the communication wants in Nambayasi or what their vision is. She's getting their opinion. She's not, all, she's not being uh, only one-sided. I think we're, we're a district that's open to new, great, and bright ideas that's going to make a huge difference in our community. The competencies that we, we came up with and put on the board for the, for the profile of a graduate uh, are what I'm looking for uh, when I'm hiring potential applicants. So one of the key takeaways for me from the three half-day sessions is the need to create safe spaces for uh, our educators and for our students. Uh, I certainly would trust our educators' ability to do that for our students in the classroom. We as parents have a responsibility to create safe spaces for our educators, administrators, counselors, teachers, and the like. One thing that I really got out of this dream team process was an insight into all the values of different community leaders and peace of mind that I'll be well equipped and others will be well equipped in the future with these ideals that we have came up with. I think that the process went really well. The advice that the community has given to the educators is really sound. And now it's really up for all the stakeholders to get together behind this vision and do the hard work of implementation.